Hello everybody, welcome to web development video number 12. Today we're going to learn a little more about links, expanding what we learned a couple videos back. First, we have email links. If you click on one of these, it'll initiate an email message. So how do we implement an email link? Well, everything is the same as a normal link. Let me type up one of those quick. Email link. Everything is the same as a normal link, except for what's inside of the href attribute. Okay, remember how we have to type HTTP or HTTPS in front of a web address whenever we make a link? For email links, instead of typing that, we type mail to, all is one word, followed by a colon. After that, we type the address we want the email link to point to. Like that. If we save and refresh, we get a normal looking link, but when I click it, my email program pops up. However, since I don't have it set up on this computer, I just get this. Email links are pretty easy. So next, how can we open links in a new tab? This requires a new attribute, target. The target attribute tells the computer where to open the link. It can hold a couple different values, but for now, we're just going to learn one, and the rest we'll learn in a later video. Anyways, if I come over here and add the target attribute, with the value of underscore blank. When clicked, this link will open up in a new tab because the target attribute with the value of underscore blank tells the computer to open the link in a new tab. So if I save and refresh and click the link, a new tab. Perfect. All right, email links and new tab links. Wonderful. Well, that's all I have for you in this video, guys. I'm Jacob, and I'll see you next time.